and now I'm here with Nicholas Riccio, and we're here discussing the gadgets for this holiday season. Let's uh, start this off strong with the iPad Air. Now, the iPad Air is a relatively new product, kind of a crisscross between the iPad Mini and the iPad. It's, um, it's a pretty nice product, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty nice. And PS3, what do you think? Uh, PS3, I think it'll have some sales, not as much as uh, PS4. Yeah, no. PS3 is what I would buy this holiday season because it's got a very strong library of games and a very strong catalog of greatness. Uh, Xbox One. I think Xbox One's not going to do so good. PS4 is going to take most of the sales this year. Xbox One isn't going to do as well as PS4, I agree. Xbox 360. No, well, a lot of people have Xbox 360 as is, so I really don't think it's going to do that much. I don't think the Xbox 360 is going to be anywhere near as good as the Xbox One sales, or as the PS4 sales. Mm -hmm. The Wii U now has a pretty strong catalog of games, and it seems like it could be a top contender for this year's holiday season sales. Alright, that's it for this vlog. Well, we'll well, hello there, and welcome to Anime Castro. Today I'll be talking about... Level E! I'm your host, Luis Carmona. Now a warning to all you people out there who don't really watch anime. This anime is very random. So random that some people just... But on a more serious note, this is a pretty funny anime. It's about this boy named Susui Yukikata, starting his freshman high school life as a freshman in Kisaragi High School in Yamagata, Japan. Now, since he lives on his own, he reaches his apartment, yet he finds a peculiar person, a person that claims to be an alien. Strange, right? He was stupefied by the fact that a person broke in, breaking into his house and claiming to be an alien. Now, this is a very, very random anime. Like I said, it's very random. So random that it changes protagonists in a few episodes. Yes, I know. Don't let that bother you because this is a really good anime. You sh I recommend it to all you people. Yes, even the people that don't watch anime. I know. There's some people there. That'll be all for Anime Castro. And on to my next segment. Or not segment. It's going to be a little special that I'll be doing from now on. I'm going to teach you how to cook. Are you ready? Hope you are. Because you're going to cook some delicious meals starting from now on. Let's go.
very special guest here. So, Miss Mano, um, what is your th what are your thoughts on this? I don't know. Let me see. I'm excited. One. Meal and one? Oh, that's yeah, great. Excellent. Um, do you think there could be any improvements? I don't think so. Because it's mild. It depends, like, if you want something more spicy or do you, if you want, like, more fennel in the um, sausage. But the sausage is more of a mild sausage, so it's, like, a good meal for breakfast. I see. So if you would rate it of 1 to 10, what would you give it? An eight. That's great. Well, thank you, Miss Mano, and that'll be all. Welcome, everyone, once again. Today I will be doing Donkey Kong Jungle Beat for the Nintendo GameCube. The reason why I decided to review this game, even though it's not so retro, is because I had a good time playing through this game when I was much younger in my age. The year was 2007, in November, I believe. And I remember getting these bongos and being so excited, just, oh, wow, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, because, you know, it was the GameCube at the time, so. The GameCube was the more pop, it was the popular Nintendo console at the time, with the PlayStation soon becoming the competitor of Nintendo, and no longer being in the competition with Sega. So we say salutations, Sega, and moving on to the newest era of gaming. However, though the PlayStation 2 may have produced some good games, I must admit, I mean, they surely did have a decent library, this will always remain one of my more favorite games on the Nintendo consoles. Why? Well, simply because of the fact that you can just do this all day. So, in my perspective, if I were a professional video game reviewer, I would be giving this game an 86 out of 100, because it's steaming so hot that your glasses are getting foggy. That is, though, if you wear glasses. I mean, I suppose your mirrors would get foggy if... But then again, why would you have mirrors in the kitchen? So, in other words, this phrase just simply does not work, and you should not try it ever in your kitchen. Alright, well, that is it for Retro Game of the Week. We now conclude this segment of Tech Talk with our salutations. Good night, audience.